kicked off the Expressway Authority board. After Jacobs ruffled some feathers calling for greater transparency and ethics. So, it has the makings of a political payback, and Tony Pipitone is here to put it all in context. So, Tony, this is the same Expressway Authority board that a few years ago was actually said to be fostering a culture of corruption, and that is a quote from a grand jury. It, it is, but it was elected officials, remember, former Mayor Rich Crotty, his successor Teresa Jacobs, and State Attorney Lawson Lamar, who made moves to clean up the authority. And Lamar's grand jury found the members appointed by governors were behind that culture of corruption. Now, State Representative Mike Horner of Kissimmee wants all the members to be appointed by or working for the governor. Horner's amendment, which could be voted on tomorrow, would remove the voters' only direct link to the board that can raise your tolls. While she says she's shocked to hear that State Representative Mike Horner wants her expelled from the Expressway Authority, Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs thinks she knows what's behind the last-minute maneuver. I've done a few things in the last couple of uh, weeks and months to upset the apple cart. And I'm, uh, frankly, I'm proud of every single one of them. That's what I was elected to do. But if the Kissimmee Republican has his way, voters would have no direct voice in who sits on the board that sets their tolls. My campaign was about transparency. It was about ethics. It was about accountability. And everybody in this community knew that one of the roles of the Orange County Mayor was to serve on the Expressway Authority board. Jacobs suspects the move could be related to her resistance to the authority paying top dollar for land owned by this man, Jim Palmer. I think, frankly, he ought to be donating it. At a minimum, we ought to be paying the prices that the land would have sold for prior to the parkway going in. There's no question Mr. Palmer's not happy with me about that. And working for Jim Palmer is future House Speaker Chris Dorworth, who told me today he supports Horner's move, but called ridiculous any suggestion it was some form of political payback. Jacobs is not so sure. But I know why I ran, and I know why I got elected, and I know why I got 68% of the vote. And it was to rock the boat when it needs to be rocked. So I asked her, is this the boat rocking back? Absolutely. I think it's rocking back. I, I, I think it's rocking back. Dorworth defended the move, claiming the removal of the only elected official on the board would prevent any hint of corruption when it came time to raise funds for elections. So I asked him, why not remove elected officials from all authority boards across the state? Why just single out Jacobs? He said I'd have to ask Mike Horner that question. He's the sponsor of the amendment, and Horner has yet to return my call from this afternoon, nor is Jim Palmer. Hmm. All right. So let's just take a step back, and okay. let's remember just how messy this thing was. I remember. How incredibly angry the voters were after this culture of corruption was exposed. You broke a lot of the stories then. Right. And there was no mention of people being removed from the board at that point. No, in fact, if anything, there was talk about having more elected officials on the board because they're more accountable. They're accountable to the public. Instead of political appointees who were using the authorities' vendors as a piggy bank for their political fundraising. That's what the grand jury found. That's what we were reporting. The Orlando Sentinel was reporting it. And now there's this movement that seems to be in another direction. You know, and I spoke to Mayor Jacobs today, and she was startled at the speed at which this would go to the floor. Well, that's how it gets done up there. You throw something in, it's already on the floor tomorrow. They could be voting on this thing tomorrow morning, and then it's in the bill. It goes directly to the floor. No committee. All right. Well, it's certainly interesting. We'll have mm -hmm. to see how this plays out. And if any of these guys ever call you back, Well, Chris Dorworth says it's ridiculous to suggest that this is any sort of political payback. All right. Thank you very much, Tony. Okay.